Awesome, and welcome to tonight's introduction to Young Living, specifically featuring one of my absolute favorite things that Young Living sells, our premium starter kit. Hopefully you are ready to explore the benefit of essential oils tonight because I am excited to share them with you. And I just want to tell you that Young Living completely um, changed my life through the products, through the purpose of sharing with other people, as well as through the business opportunity of Young Living. So a little bit about me, you can see I'm happily married. That's my husband. And we have a really large family, 18 children in the top picture, um, a total of 22 before we are done. We still have four children at home. That picture was in 2002. Um, the stress of raising children it really distracted me from things like my health. And so you can see in this bottom left-hand picture that um, definitely went through some stages of less of a focus on my health. I just I tired and overwhelmed and lot, lack of um, energy and obviously a little bit of weight gain and some hormonal imbalance along the way. And yet through the process of Young Living, I am in a new and healthier stage. And I want that for you guys too. So um, when we started with Young Living, I was not a very healthy-minded person. I actually drink Mountain Dew and ate Twinkies. I actually was allergic to what we consider today to be real food. Um, I used I whatever I heard about on the TV, but I was the queen of frugal. So if you could uh, make something or double coupon it on a sale, that was my, my jive. I was literally... I'd like to say I was just like you, but maybe you don't have so many kids. So definitely not focused on like my own personal self-care or my own health situation, kind of caught up in the day-to-day -day of supporting my kiddos and my husband, as well as um, all the things that come with that. It's definitely um, a journey and I've not arrived, um, in fact, if there's anything that 2020 or 2021 has um, helped me see, it's that we're still on a journey of always needing better, better health. And so um, that's kind of me in every way. And I had allergies. I um, really struggled with migraines. I had some hormonal issues. And when I got into Young Living, which I did for my kiddos, what I realized is that there were other people in Young Living who were finding this pathway of health. And I hadn't even considered that that was a possibility that some of those things could change in my life. And so with that being said, I am not alone. I feel like many of us are often reactive to what's going on around us instead of proactive. I like to look at that the same way we look at health care. A lot of times we think about healthcare as us taking care of our health, but really what we're doing is taking care of being sick, right? We have clinics on every corner, 6,000 hospitals in the United States. We are ready to be sick. But what if we as a society made a shift and we're just better at taking care of ourselves than we are at being reactive? Let's be prepared and ready. And that can be really beneficial if you're willing to do a little bit of the work on the forefront. Are you ready to put your health first so that you can have more days with your loved ones, maybe your babies, your grandbabies? And tonight's class is going to show us just a little bit about how simple that is. And the way that we made this simple is with Young Living. Let me introduce you to Young Living and the 700 plus products for every room in your home and every member of your family, including our pets, we ship directly to your home. And I love that we just have programs put in place to make shopping easier. You can unlock a 24% member discount and you can set it up so that let's say that you um, fall in love with a specific product and you decide you want to order monthly. We have additional benefits for our rewards program. If you order monthly on our loyalty rewards at a minimum of 50 PV, you can earn points towards free products, 10%, 20%, 25% additional savings. And so those are some of my favorite things about Young Living. Young Living was started over 30 years ago, almost 30 years ago by Gary and Mary Young. 
And in their early days, they worked out of a, their garage, which is the two of them. And they'd take each order by phone or maybe fly out for a weekend conference. And then they'd fly home and they'd fill it from Monday to Thursday and do it all over again every single week. And today that's grown to a massive 2 billion multinational company that employs over 3000 people worldwide. And seed to seal is our quality standard. It just sets us apart above all the rest. We have 16 different tests done in triplicate at two different times to ensure the quality and purity. And we have 25 plus corporate and partner farms as well as seed to seal providers. And they're all over the world. And just here in the United States, um, I've been able to visit uh, our farm in Mona, Utah. I've been there, I think 14 times at last count. I've been to two farms in Idaho. We also, I've been to the Sandalwood farm in Hawaii. That is a gorgeous place to visit. I've also been to some of our other farms, including Ecuador and where we distill frankincense and harvest um, cystus in Spain. And so just looking forward to even getting to see more farms, but here's the most amazing part. You too can be a part of that process. Now I'm going to be honest with you as a, uh, I have a little farm and a little tiny garden myself and I don't like weeding anything, no matter where I'm at, apparently, but it's really neat to be a part of the process and to see what it looks like from the time you put the little plants in the ground until they're harvested, they're hand weeded. Um, it's just kind of an amazing process to be a part of. And um, our products are timeless, God-given, pure, plant-based, unadulterated, and safe for your family. And the way that I know this is by... Get starting this process, what we call ditching and switching, which means we're making changes towards healthier living. And in my journey, I started ditching and switching just some very common household things. It's kind of like the idea of like, do you, do you order a healthier supper or do you dive in and, and eat the burger, right? So you might have to struggle a little bit with giving up maybe some of your um, things around your house, but it has made the hugest of changes in my life. And they don't have to be overwhelming changes. You can take small steps that add up to be a big change. So for instance, some of the things that I've noticed is that as I ditch some of the candles and plugins in my home and move to diffusers with oils, that was a, just a really simple one I started doing right away that I actually noticed that having less fragrance in my house made me, so I have less headaches. And so it's just kind of like this amazing side effect of this wellness lifestyle that I love. Uh, the next easiest swap out to do is to ditch your cleaners that may be chemical filled or um, hormone disrupting and get a safe plant-based cleaner that you can use. Um, have you ever like washed your shower and then like you could taste the cleaner yeah, that's gross and it's not very good for you. But when you use Young Living's Cleaner, it's just got the purity of the oils plus the plant-based ingredients. And so it's safe for you. And then you can get your kids cleaning. There's nothing worse than worrying about a baby crawling on a floor, um, getting the stuff into their skin that they shouldn't be touching. Or maybe your little um, fur babies too, because they've got those little um, claws on them. Uh, so that's a simple easy, great start. You can also switch out toxic shampoos, switch it to one that's made from ingredients safe for you, laundry soap. Um, go ahead and if you're joining us in the chat box, you can give us your favorite ditch and switch. But with ingredients that actually support a healthier body, our oils and products are worth an investment. From skincare and makeup to our kid and baby line, pet products, supplements, food, and so much more, we can help support your health and your journey and make this wellness lifestyle as easy as possible. And the primary way that we do that through every single product that Young Living sells are through our essential oils. And essential oils are the liquids extracted from the plants. And you can use them for aromatherapy, like smelling. And the smell of oils are very powerful. You can get right up into your brain and actively change your mood or help you with your emotions, calming, things of that nature. You can use them for things like cleaning, your personal care, and they can support every system of your body. However, as I mentioned earlier, I was all about like the good deal. So when I first started using essential oils, I know um, you might gasp at this one, but I did not choose Young Living first. I was about a year and a half into essential oils before I found out that there was a difference and it mattered because not all oils are created equal. So 
how do you know which one to choose? Well, I love that um, we have this website called seed to seal.com. And at that website, you can literally go and learn about the journey our oils go on and why it matters that what you're putting in your body, on your body, or breathing in is just clean and pure. And with that being said, we're going to talk about some of the ways that we use essential oils um, really quickly. Uh, so how do we use them? Well, before we get going, uh, you pick one way and you go for it. There's no need to be trained or anything else. Uh, anyone can use essential oils. And oftentimes when you get started, we give you a, a book to use, but there's lots of information available, lots of resources and reference books available um, to, to go for. So first off is topically. And what that looks like is you can apply them to your wrists, your neck, your back, your feet, etc. Just keep them out of your eyes and your ears, the sensitive spots. If you do get oil near your eyes, don't rinse it with water, but apply a fatty carrier oil around the area um, that takes away some of the heat. Another thing to keep in mind is that some oils are gentle enough to put directly on your skin without diluting. Now, let me define that for you. Diluting is taking that same fatty carrier oil like almond oil, extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil, et cetera, et cetera. And you mix a little bit of the essential oil with the fatty carrier oil and that dilutes the um, oil. Now it doesn't actually change how, like if you're gonna put one to two drops of the carrier oil, of the essential oil into the carrier oil, but that's what you were gonna put on your skin. It's actually not going to decrease the amount of oil that gets on you or in you, but it might slow down like how fast you absorb it or spread it out over a larger area of your body. Now, if you ever put an essential oil on and notice it's making you feel hot or making your skin a little bit red, just throw that carrier oil on afterwards. For little ones, or again, as we age, so maybe more of our elderly people, you will want it to dilute more heavily, okay? Our skin is thinner, so it can be a little bit more reactive. You don't want to overcomplicate it and keep it really simple. So I do one drop of essential oil to a, tea, a tablespoon of carrier oil for our zero to ones. If I don't know, like my kiddos are super oily, so I don't use it the same way there. But if I don't know somebody else, that might be where I start. Or one drop of essential oil to one teaspoon of carrier for our um, other dilutions down the road. All right. Now, oftentimes people think just of aromatic as how you use essential oils. And I want to caution you, if you buy an essential oil at a big box store, it may say on the back, do not apply topically or consume. So what they're telling you is that inside that oil, there's probably something that you don't want inside your body. But when you breathe it in, it actually has that same power because the molecular structure of an essential oil is small enough to cross the blood brain barrier. So do you want something going into your brain that you shouldn't be touching to your skin? That sounds kind of dangerous to me, but we use our essential oils aromatically all the time. And that can be as simple as just breathing it in right from the bottle. I'm going to tell you something. You will never find a cheaper way to use an essential oil. More frugal fits my then breathing it in this way. Now, this is me. I want some um, essential oil right here for myself. What if I want to use an essential oil for an entire room full of people? Maybe I want to get rid of the smell of a burnt supper or cleanse the bathroom air, put some little ones to sleep. I would probably put the oils in a diffuser and enjoy the therapeutic benefits from diffusing. You can also just put the drop in your palm, rub your hands together, and cup it over your nose and breathe deeply and enjoy. And no matter how you do that, you still reap the benefits. The third way to use Young Living essential oils, tonight I'm talking Young Living, do not do this. If your bottle from somewhere else says do not apply or consume, um, don't do not buy those. <laughs> so for internal usage, you can add a drop or more of a Vitality oil into an empty vegetable capsule, a cup of tea, a glass of water, you can even cook and bake with them. One of my favorite things to do is peppermint brownies. I shouldn't probably tell you that because remember, it's a health journey, but you can also do like lemon on your fish and on your asparagus, or um, you can make a marinade. You can put lime in your guacamole 
or your salsa or your margarita. See, it's just all a process. Um, I love um, using it in like yogurt or on whipped cream or even in things like spaghetti sauce or dill for pickles. There's so many choices. And one thing to note, citrus oils can break down the petrochemicals in plastic. So it's safer to use stainless steel, glass, or ceramic when adding oils to your dishes and drinks. Now, before we go any farther, I want to explain the difference between our colored labels. All right, so we have a Vitality Oil white label right here and a regular color label, solid color, regular oil. And these are labeled, white label, for internal or dietary use. So they can be ingested. The solid color labels are labeled the exact, for aromatic or topical use, but it's the exact same oil in the bottle. The only difference is the color of the label. And it is only there to make it easier for us to know which can be safely ingested. So um, when I buy an essential oil now, um, I usually buy the slightly bigger 15 mil bottles because it's a better value. However, you're always going to be able to use, they're the exact same oils. They're just labeled for our like knowledge. There are five Vitality oils in the premium starter kit. And that's peppermint Vitality. Remember that chocolate. Lemon Vitality. These Vitality, which we're going to talk about in just a second. Citrus Fresh Vitality, which is absolutely amazing. I love it in like a cool glass of water. It's actually in here right now. Here's my water bottle. Um, as well as I love cleaning and diffusing it because it smells so clean and fresh. And lastly, um, Digest Vitality, which as you can guess is for our digestive system. Now, guess what? Those oils come in solid color bottles, which means you can use them aromatically and topically. I hope that makes good sense. All right. So let's go through some of our oils up tonight. The first one we're going to talk about is lavender, and it's really known as one of our most well-known oils, the Swiss Army Knife, because it's so versatile and can be used for so many things. Now, I'm not a doctor, and I won't diagnose, treat, or prescribe anything to you. You're going to want to get a reference book to keep in handy, but I can tell you a little bit about why lavender is just one of my absolute favorite oils. I kind of laugh sometimes and say, if I was ever on a deserted island, I would need to have lavender with me. It promotes feelings of calm. It helps me sleep. It can fight occasional nervous tension. It helps your skin, blemishes, aging, too much sun, um, all those things. And lavender does come in a vitality version, same oil, different label. And it can improve sleep quality, supports your general wellness, helps with cleansing and antioxidant properties. The lavender vitality supports your um, nervous system and cardiovascular system when taken as a dietary supplement. See how versatile these are? Isn't that amazing? Up next is Raven. And I think that everybody needs to have um, Raven on hand. Uh, there's a little song that goes, if I just breathe, everything is all right. If I just breathe, and I just hundred percent agree with that. If I'm breathing, everything will be all right. So if this oil will help you do that. Breathe and breathe well. It's a blend of Ravensera, peppermint, eucalyptus radiata, lemon, and wintergreen essential oils. And so the really neat thing about this is that one drop of Raven has a little bit of all of those oils in it. So if you ever wanted to use wintergreen, but you didn't have some, you could use Raven instead. All right, so let's talk about some of my favorite uses for Raven. It does have a cooling sensation. And so if you apply it, I like to mix it with a little bit of a solid coconut oil, mix it up and apply it like to my chest or my feet, put on socks. Uh, it's really kind of cooling and kind of comforting. It reminds me of some childhood um, treatments for my grandma, right? And it provides a refreshing aromatic experience. And so one of the things I love to do is put it into uh, like on a washcloth at the bottom of my shower and kind of have it as a steam sensation. They can also give you a boost of energy and motivation you need to conquer your day. So just diffuse it or apply it. Um, if I'm using this one on little kiddos, I do tend to go to the backs or bottom of the feet. I don't uh, want them to touch something maybe on their chest or throat and then touch their nose or their eyes. So up next is Valor. And this oil just holds such a special place in my heart. It makes me smile every time I take it a whiff. Um, it is my go-to for all things liquid courage, 
some other people have a different definition of liquid courage. For me, it's valor in a bottle, right? So it's a blend of black spruce, blue tansy, camphor wood, geranium, and frankincense. And it's truly just a young living absolute favorite. You can see it's in some of our protocols. It gives you a positive attitude and promotes feelings of courage and confidence. It has a great woodsy grounding smell. It's perfect for massage, maybe going to the chiropractor. Um, one thing I do, I, I don't um, grind my teeth. Thankfully, my dentist says I don't grind my teeth, but I stress sleep. And so I rub it right here on my jaw when I go to bed at night, because if I don't, I wake up and my jaw can feel like really stiff. And so I absolutely love Valor. It's one of my favorites. Next up is Panaway. And this oil, well, just knowing that we have this oil is just, it used to be called, uh, have a slightly different name if someone wants to type it in the chat box, but it just makes that blank go away. And it has that same, it smells like rip beer in a bottle. So it's kind of funny, but it feels like heaven when you apply it. Now I am a carpool mom, probably by trade. And so I get kind of stiff neck in the neck. I come sometimes wake up kind of stiff. Uh, my daughter, um, daughter and sons have run cross country. So I'll chase them out across cross, cross country meets. And when I get done, whether you're exercising, raking leaves or whatever, this one here is uh, an absolute favorite for skin after physical activity. It has wintergreen in it. And many of you might know that um, wintergreen has a constituent called methyl salicylate. And that is the active ingredient in many of our sports creams, but it usually comes from a synthetic source, not with Young Living. We use the real deal. Up next is Peace and Calming. And um, this oil is my gateway oil. That's the oil you come into Young Living for, your gateway oil. And I think the name says it all. It's my go-to when things get crazy and we need a little bit of calm to come over us, which for me, is pretty much all of the time. Maybe other other moms watching, um, you may you may also feel this. Now, I actually didn't. Um, I started this oil for my kiddos, right? Like they weren't very peaceful or calm, and still to this day, I keep a bag, a bottle in my Bible bag, so I can rub it on the back of their neck. Maybe um, swipe them during church. <laughs> like, are you not being very peaceful and calm? Here's some oil, um, but this has really become the me oil, and people kind of are surprised by that. Uh, when I had to wear face masks for, you know, medical appointments or whatever, I just would put it right under my nose and be breathing in that peacefulness and that calm, right? Like on the airplane or whatever. And so if you are ever in a situation where you find yourself getting kind of overwhelmed, this is my chill oil, but you can put it on diffuser jewelry. You can put it in the diffuser. You can make some homemade Play-Doh if your kids need that sensation plus the calming. My favorite thing to do, Epsom salt bath. So I just take a cup um, and put it in, you know, add my drops to it, put it in the bathtub. It disperses the oil really nicely and you get that extra soaking effect also. So I hope that you might love that oil too. Frankincense is the next oil we're going to highlight. And you guys, this is like the Mac Daddy of all oils and it comes in the starter kit, which is just amazing. It's a great value in that, that starter kit because it's got some amazing oils. And remember in the Bible, how the wise men brought Jesus some frankincense? Well, this is it. This is the real frankincense. And it is so wonderful. It helps with, um, they, they, from the bottom of your feet to the top of your head, this oil helps everything. So I like to drip it on the top of my head at night to go to sleep just a drop or two. Um, I use it all over my face to help reduce the appearance of uneven skin toes. It's very calming. So some people use it for prayer or meditation. You just rub it in and breathe. I, it's very gentle. So it's one of my favorites for maybe a compress for the chest, even for kiddos. And did you know that frankincense comes in a vitality version, same oil, different label, and it has properties that can help support overall well-being and a healthy immune system when taken internally. It also supports your respiratory system and the bones. Next up is Stress Away, and this is just another member favorite because it does what the name suggests. It's one you'll never want to run out of, and thankfully it comes in your starter kit, but you may want to add it to your monthly box just to be safe. Uh, I always kind of joke because you saw that picture of me with my kids, and if you saw me driving down the street, I was like, I'm inhaling something. I call it Mama Crack because it just is like a beach in a bottle. It's another great one for an Epsom salt, or maybe you can just, um, you know, 
diffuse it before your shower, things like that. But it has copaiba, cedarwood, okatea, and lavender. It's a blend of oils that you will be thankful for. And it gives you just relaxation and a calming environment. It has an inviting aroma that just settles the mind. And it can really relieve occasional stress and tension. And some people love it to put a roller bottle on it. It comes with some add, like ones that you can add onto the top of it in your starter kit. And you can just roll it on where you need it. Now, when an oil like stress away or like peace and calming has a citrus oil in it, it is considered photosensitive. And that means you don't want to apply it to your skin if you're going to go out and direct UV rays for the next 12 hours. So either apply it where the sun doesn't shine or cover it with clothing um, or put it on the night before your, your fun day the next day or breathe it in. But this one always reminds me of a vacation and it's just truly one of my favorites. All right, we're going to move into some, I, I've already kind of mentioned that that lemon vitality is great for cooking, all sorts of things. Just a little drop uh, is key, but it also can support the immune system, provide circulatory support, and it's definitely good for cleansing or cleaning as the case may be. And so that's when lemon is cold pressed from the rind of the fruit. So it doesn't have the high acid that the fruit does. And it's not hard on your tooth enamel. It also does come in a solid label bottle, so you can diffuse it, clean with it, etc. Remember, same oil, different bottle. Up next is our peppermint vitality. And I've got to tell you, when we talk about it being used as a vitality version, we're really looking at the digestive gastrointestinal system comfort. It just enhances that healthy gut function. It maintains efficiency of the digestive tract. And... Um, we know this because my grandma used to give me a hint of peppermint tea when I was a kiddo to calm my tummy. But how easy is it to carry a really small bottle with you on the go and be able to put like maybe half a drop or less in a cup of hot water, no matter wherever you are, like you're not gonna have to be thinking, oh, do I have some peppermint tea with me? Like just carry your peppermint. I, you can also put some in a capsule um, or just even add a little bit to some water and drink it down and just get that comfort. It can reduce feelings of discomfort after large meals. It has been shown to support performance during exercise and don't forget the chocolate. So peppermint is so much more than a flavor. It's the real deal. And I think, so that's kind of something where well, people, why well, can you just buy like peppermint extract? It is not the same thing at all. Um, a little, little bit goes a very, very long way. And speaking of our tummies, let's talk about that Digize Vitality. I mentioned it's great for your digestive system. Seriously, it works for me in just seconds flat. It's tarragon ginger, peppermint juniper, fennel, lemongrass, anise, and patchouli oils. And if you ever want to, take your Googling fingers and go research like that oil. I go to pubmed.gov and type, you know, ginger essential oil and you can see all the things that ginger does for your body and you'll be amazed now the easiest way i think to take this is just a a little bit under your tongue but you can also put it in a veggie capsule um <clears throat> you can apply it topically it does come in a solid label bottle and so it helps support your and cleanse your digestive system it's a great companion to enzymes young living has amazing enzymes that really help uh, when taken with your meals to support your wellness regimen and it has antioxidant properties. Now, this is one that we don't usually diffuse at our house, but you can use it diffuse or applied. Again, we tend to apply it topically. Um, I would say if something's going up, coming down, or gurgling in the middle, a little bit of digest just helps along the way. We just have a couple more oils here, but citrus fresh is next. And I already told you I love to clean with it. I love to diffuse it because it smells clean. I love it in my water. Um, probably for the overall wellness, antioxidant and cleansing properties, you can use it in your food. Uh, I mentioned, uh, putting a drop in your fish earlier, but like you can also do chicken. This one tastes great when added to Ninja Red, which is a red antioxidant drink. Um, and again, don't forget to use glass, ceramic or stainless steel containers because citrus oils do eat away at petrochemicals and plastic. Now, some people say to me, Amanda, does that mean it's going to um, harm my insides. And I would say to you, um, if you have petrochemicals inside your body, it may eat away at them. However, you can also use this to clean your fresh fruit. Just a couple of drops in a sink full will take anything yucky off your fruit because the natural and organic substance, organic, not meaning like 
I bought organic, but meaning like the way that it was created, the, the food part, um, that part will be protected and cleaned up during this process, not harmed in any way. And so this is one of my absolute favorites. And I just, it smells so fresh. I also like to add it to um, like maybe a, a, an oil to like polish tables or sprinkle some in some baking soda, shake it up and sprinkle it on your carpets before you vacuum. And that fresh, clean smell will continue. Now up next is gonna be our Thieves Vitality Oil. And this is the final oil that comes in the starter kit. I really saved the best for last. There's a, an entire line of products that contain this powerful combination of oils. It's that good. So Thieves Vitality is a sweet and spicy combination of cloves, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus radiata, rosemary, and lemon essential oils. Did you know that the name Thieves was inspired by the legend of four 15th century French thieves who formulated and wore a special aromatic combination of clove, rosemary, vinegar, and other botanicals that they believe provided protection while they were stealing. The story goes on to say that when the thieves were caught and they were offered a lesser punishment, if they would divulge to the king the secret to their immunity, despite being exposed to highly infectious diseases, they gave up the recipe instead of giving up their heads. So pretty, pretty interesting. It is uh, one of my absolute family favorites. It provides immune system support. It's cleansing to your digestive system and it get, has antioxidant properties providing general all over wellness. And because it's that vitality oil, it can be added to your food or drinks. We like it in apple anything because it's got a little cinnamon, apple um, sauce, apple cider, apple everything, especially warmed up. Some people love it on their oatmeal or maybe on their coffee. We like it in a tea as well. And so you might just want to put a, a drop of thieves, a little bit of honey in your tea, or even just plain warm water. And it's just so soothing and warming. And remember, it comes in a salad label bottle too. So it can be diffused or applied topically. Also, many of our oils even come in these roller bottles that are ready to go. Um, and I use the thieves roller bottle every single day. This is my personal one. You can see it's about halfway. Now, I did already mention our Ninja Red, uh, which is a fruit juice, but that's so much more that's kind of unfair to it. It's a whole body supplement, and it's a blend of the Ninja Wolfberry, also known as Goji Berries, and that's kind of a super fruit. If you know anything about Goji Berries, the people that consume them in China have really life, long-lasting life. It's mixed with plum, aronia, cherry, blueberry, and pomegranate juices and extracts plus pure vanilla extract, lemon, orange, yuzu, and tangerine essential oils. And it has an incredibly high antioxidant rating. Antioxidants make for an unfriendly environment for free radicals, which do harm to your body. So Ninja Red fights the stuff that does harm to your body. You need Ninja in your life. It helps support whole body wellness, normal cellular function, energy level, and high health. And you can do like... You see there that there's um, packets or a bottle. My hubby does the bottle. I do the packets. Um, I don't actually care if mine's cold. Some people like it chilled. Some people add it to juice or a smoothie. Other people just drink it kind of straight. You can dress it up if you have an extra health goal. Maybe you want to, um, and there's just all kinds of things you can do. A little bit extra energy. So we've got some fun ideas for that as well. But you can incorporate Ninja into your regular routine. And your starter kit comes with two packets underneath the bottom of the box. Now, also in your box, you're gonna have some Thieves hand sanitizer and spray. The Thieves hand sanitizer, we're almost done. Stay with me. Can you believe um, this is all in one box, right? So Thieves hand sanitizer, it does kill 99.95% of germs and eliminates common harmful bacteria. What I love about it is that it moisturizes with an aloe vera and vegetable glycerin. And it has the powerful essential oils of thieves. I use this everywhere we go. I, uh, I'm a sports mom. So you go to porta potty. I use the thieves. It's just perfect everywhere. It leaves no chemical residue behind. So like when you're in the church nursery and you put the stuff on your kiddos hands before they eat the little goldfish, they're not putting bad chemicals into their mouth with their food because it has no petrochemicals, no mineral oil, no parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates, no fragrance, no dye, no preservatives or toxic ingredients. So make sure you go check whatever you've been using if it's not this one. 
also has the thieves spray and this is also a must have for me on the go porta potties gas handles uh shopping carts you're you have it in your backpack i've even as i go through like airplane check i do my feet right like after they make me get barefoot i spray my feet before i put them back in my shoes it does all the surfaces and it's completely safe and then all comes in one starter kit box along with the diffuser of your choice we'll get there and that gives you wholesale pricing the 24 percent off retail prices for an entire year that wholesale pricing gives you access to our community access to the loyalty rewards program if you'd like it and the option to even earn a monthly paycheck and all of that is um, been super valuable to me because we use all those aspects of Young Living. We like earning free points to use free stuff. We love getting to um, enjoy this discount and we love the opportunity to share with other people. So it's for you to get started, you go to youngliving.com, you'll get to go shopping, and you'll want to use the member number of whomever invited you to watch this class. So thanks so much for coming and jumping in here with me and taking a look at what Young Living has to offer. I truly believe that these oils and products need to be in every home, starting with yours and mine. This wellness lifestyle has been a blessing to me, my family, and now my grandchildren. And I know it can be for yours also. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs>